New photographs have shown just how deep the damage is as parts of Africa are physically splitting apart. Scientists say that Africa is peeling apart into two parts that will eventually lead to the formation of a new ocean and give rise to a new continent. While the process will take millions of years to complete, this will split present-day Somalia and parts of Kenya, Ethiopia, and Tanzania from the rest of the continent. This radical change in Earth's landscape will come with many consequences, both positive and disruptive, and only time will tell if humans will be around by that time to witness the major changes it will cause. Today, let's explore what the world will look like after the Great Big Rift, millions of years into the future. Before we dive into this topic, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and share the video as it's the best way to help us grow as a channel. To grasp the formidable truth about this occurrence, first we need to understand how and why Africa is splitting in two. The phenomenon responsible for tearing apart the continent is called rifting. It is when a single tectonic plate rips apart into two or more tectonic plates, separated by divergent plate boundaries. This phenomenon can be dated at least 138 million years back, when South America and Africa were divided into different continents. If you look at the west coast of Africa and the east coast of South America, you'll notice they fit together like two jigsaw pieces, beautifully highlighting how these continents were once joined as one. For the last 30 million years, the Arabian plate has been drifting away from Africa, a process that resulted in the creation of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. The colossal breakup of the future is associated with the East African Rift System, a 56 kilometers or 35 mile long crack that emerged in Ethiopia's desert in 2005. It is one of the largest rifts in the world that stretches downward for thousands of kilometers through several countries in Africa, including Ethiopia, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, and Mozambique. This rift will set off the formation of the world's sixth ocean. Seismic data shows that the formation of the rift was triggered by similar tectonic processes that are taking place at the bottom of the ocean. The crack was discovered at the border of three tectonic plates, African Nubian, African Somali, and Arabian, that have already been separating for some time. Spanning over 3,000 kilometers, the East African Rift Valley lies from the Gulf of Aden in the north, towards Zimbabwe in the south. It divides the African Plate into two parts, the Somali and Nubian Plates. Though the process of rifting has been happening for some time, the potential split made the headlines worldwide for the first time when a large crack in the Kenyan Rift Valley emerged in 2018. According to scientists, the Great Split won't happen anytime soon, as the Arabian Plate is shifting away from Africa at a rate of one inch per year. It will take millions of years for Africa to be sliced into two unequal parts. The new ocean will take at least 5 million to 10 million years to form, which could eventually give few landlocked countries in Africa their own coastlines. Now, assuming that millions of years down the line, nation states will still exist in the form they do now. Here's what we expect would happen. Six landlocked countries, namely Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Malawi, and Zambia would inadvertently find themselves with a coastline, and the smaller continent created by the rift will include countries such as present-day Somalia and parts of Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Djibouti, Tanzania, and Mozambique. But according to geologists, the smaller of the emergent continents may drift away from the rest of the continent. Depending on how the rift happens, there is the possibility of new nations forming, old nations merging or completely breaking apart. Geologists predict that Madagascar will itself break apart into smaller islands. Quite possibly, the new ocean that may arise in another 5 or 10 million years will be named the African Ocean and the world will have a new and eighth continent. A new coastline just in their front yard would cost the countries millions of dollars in evacuation, but it would come with huge advantages. 
the previously landlocked countries will now have access to the sea, giving rise to the reduction in international logistical expenses and the creation of shipping and fishing industries that did not exist. The countries will build harbors that will connect them to the rest of the world directly. It is to be noted that the Democratic Republic of Congo has a tiny sliver of Atlantic coastline, but it remains unused. Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi have largely relied on Kenya's Indian Ocean port of Mombasa and Tanzania's port of Dar es Salaam for their sea freight and transportation. With access to the sea, it also means the countries can finally be directly connected to subsea internet cables if that technology will not have been bypassed by then. Doubtlessly, the emergence of new coastlines will unlock a myriad of opportunities for economic growth. There will be far more maritime activities and a possible shorter route to other parts of the world. But a question lingers whether this is an advantage for Africa or if it will allow foreigners to take advantage and control the new routes and maritime business. If we look into the distant future, would the two continents remain connected or would they split up like North and South America? Would trade bind them together as a single entity and what would the security implications be? In addition, Africa is the most impacted region when it comes to displacement, with a larger number of countries affected than any other continent or region. As of 2015, more than 15 million people were internally displaced in Africa, according to the United Nations Environment Program report on displacement and environment. As the plates continue to split in the future, this phenomenon will result in the displacement of communities, settlements, and various flora and fauna. These changes will impact their habitats due to climate change, resulting in environmental degradation. Some plant and animal species will become extinct, while others will become endangered due to habitat changes. Finally, rapid urbanization and increased settlements will put pressure on natural resources, leading to a scarcity of water, energy, and food. Dramatic events, such as sudden motorway splitting faults, can give continental rifting a sense of urgency. However, rifting is a very slow process that, most of the time, goes about splitting Africa without anybody even noticing, as it happens over the course of millions of years. The departure of East Africa will just be another page in this giant geological storybook. Who knows whether humanity will be around to see any of these changes, but it doesn't look too hopeful. But discussing the possibilities of the future is important as it may come earlier than humans think. What are your thoughts on Africa splitting in two? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.